digital SCT math flashcards, interior angles of polygons. The sum of interior angles in a polygon is equal to 180 times the quantity n minus 2, where n is the number of sides. Though the SAT will never ask you about a shape with more than six sides, so you might just want to get familiar with this table. Notice how an easy way to remember it is if you just remember there's 180 in a triangle and then you add 180 each time you add a side. We've already talked about equilateral triangles and squares a lot in previous videos and shorts. So let's make the focus of this video pentagons and hexagons. As we discussed, there are 540 degrees in a pentagon. Pentagons have five sides, so they must have five angles. So we can find the measure of each angle by dividing 540 by 5 for a regular pentagon, where all the angle measures are the same. We get 108 degrees, which will look something like this. We can split a regular pentagon up into triangles by drawing circumradii. Half of 108 is 54, so each of those angles get cut in half and form two smaller 54 degree angles. Now for each triangle, we can do 180 minus 54 minus 54, and we get 72 degrees for each of the angles close to the center. By the base angles theorem, the sides across from 54 degrees are equal. So these are all isosceles triangles. So pentagons are made up of five congruent isosceles triangles. Really important to note that those sides I marked in red are not equal to the side length. Regular hexagons instead have 720 degrees and six angles. So we'll do 720 divided by six and get 120 degrees, which on a diagram will look something like this. We can follow a similar process to split up the regular hexagon into triangles. Half of 120 is 60, so all those 120 degree angles get split into smaller 60 degree angles. In each triangle, 180 minus 60 minus 60 is, well, 60. So each triangle has measures of 60, 60, 60. That means they are all equilateral triangles, which means every single side, every single segment in this drawing is equal. So regular hexagons are made up of six congruent equilateral triangles. Notice how this is different from regular pentagons. The side lengths are equal to those circumradii. Pause this video and see if you can remember this important DSCT math concept. 